And as we always do, we have a brand new addition to the family for this competition. <laughs> Colino. Colino Scopy. He's kind of like a Walmart Fabio. Like a great value pretty boy. Colino likes eating, drinking, and hot women. And as such, he's perfect for this experiment. Colino will be my planter. Since he's the newest sim, he has to prove his worth to the clan. The Florida Man clan. Colino, stop hitting on LSD. Get your ass out there and start watering all these plants. Yeah, that's right. Nurture your future murderers. That's actually an extra layer of sickness because like, I'm making them take care of the things that are going to kill them. Oh, now he's just doing it on his own. Colino, you're the best. Do you like popcorn there, Colino? It's kind of interesting because your mouth is so close to your nose that I don't know if you're snorting the popcorn or eating it. I'm not gonna lie, when Colino does this, he looks like Jack Nicholson as the Joker. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Colino, you've been eating popcorn for the last seven hours. Do you have any other interests, you failure? He's hitting on LSD, and LSD is like, what is this troglodyte hitting on me? His chin is so sharp, it almost lacerated my skin. That's what she's thinking. Don't get too friendly with it, Colino. Pretty soon, you met son of a bitch, consoles is running away. Colino just got owned. What was he, number four? Colino, gonna be the next one to go down. <laughs> ah, the flavorful taste of colon. Babs is a bro, the one of your bros just got liquefied. Just looking at Colino, I can guess like what his voice would be like as he turns on the thermostat. He'd be like, red good. That's right, Colino, red good. Why don't you go have some popcorn there, buddy? Go treat yourself. You won't even have to put it in the microwave. <laughs> Once again, I picture Colino to be like, TV good. Oh, hey, Colino is using the downstairs sauna, or as I like to call it, the below ground kill box. I wasn't sure how long it would take someone to be dumb enough to turn this on while the house is already 110 degrees. I'm not gonna lie though, it's pretty ballsy. Using the sauna in the middle of a heat wave in a house with the heat on in the bottom floor. Hey, Colino, how you doing down there? He's probably like, I can see future. It's so well decorated that Colin will probably end up dying in here. He's like, man, if there's one thing I love seeing, it's my own soul leaving my body. Colin o discovered fire. What? <laughs> you screw up. Luckily, Florida man is used to this sort of stupidity. He's been on the show for a long, long time. The sad part is I don't know if this is from cooking or just from the heat. Colin o is burning to death. What do you know? Don't worry, Colino. Maybe if you go piss all the fire out of your bladder, you'll live. Colino is like, man, all I want to do is urinate this lava and then go back to bed so I can slowly turn into a human puddle. Oh! Colino! Our very first one to go! At least you died right next to the lovely bed with your head. <laughs> Looks like it's severed through the freaking curtain. How could you be depressed? when you have a face like Colino. Colin wants to make the big money on YouTube. He's doing toy reviews. Colin's like, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy here, Colinoscopy, coming at you with a brand new toy review on this squishy that looks a lot like spleens. Seeing who does this first thing in the morning really gives me a good idea on more than likely who's going to die first. Colino, how the hell did you just piss yourself? Is it because you drank 75 cups of coffee? How come you just left the cup of coffee on the ground? He actually might die from being so embarrassed. You gotta be kidding me. Son of a bitch! Colino! Colino's dying from embarrassment! His whole life was just- he almost landed on the cat! Colino, I swear to god, if you landed on spleens, I would have been super unhappy. Colino's entire life has just been him playing on the computer, telling jokes, streaming, and then dying. I just saw this ultimate mortification. That's Colino's death. Yeah, forget about witness death. Go back to watch performance. The handsomest couple in all the Sims, Colino and Flo Kane are back. In order for me to test exactly how long it would take for a contagious disease to wipe out a house of 100 Sims, I have prepared the Sims with a luxurious mansion that has 
multiple bathrooms and bedrooms and places to eat. However, do you know what my Sims love to do every time I give them everything they could possibly want? They love to die. Be so happy. That's right, you mushroom-headed bastard. Enjoy your life before you destroy the lives of everyone around you. Oh, Colino. All right, Colino's looking beefy. He's been working out. Now all I need him to do is to try and be friends with Hamos. Hamos, though, is a dick. There it is! And thus, the entire world is about to be ended. Colino now has the hamster plague. All right, first thing we're gonna do is add 20 more Sims in here. Now, I don't think that it's con quite as contagious yet, even though I've kind of modded it to be. Mostly, I want to see if people stay the hell away from him. Okay, this is good. See, Colino is isolating himself. He's just chilling out over here in this room, away from everyone else. Maybe no one else will get infected. Just kidding, my Sims are dipshit. Now, once Colino gets the next stage of the disease, I'm gonna add 30 more people. So we'll move up to 50 Sims inside of the house. All right, yeah, he's just walking through every vastly populated area of the entire house. Maybe he'll go and wash his hands. Nope, never mind. He just sat right next to a bunch of new people. He's like, I'm not going down alone. Colino's like, maybe I can boil the sickness away. All right. Colino is now up to level two. Time to bring the number of Sims up to 50 pieces of potential meat. I just realized that the second level of this is losing control of your bladder, and my Sims have a real issue with dying when their bladders fail, so this house is going to become an absolute convoluted realm of death. How you doing there, Colino? Trying to make it to the restroom, I see? Would be a pity if something happened. Something happened! <laughs> Nothing like a Sims episode where you're searching for a bathroom, you fail to use it even though it's two feet away and you almost trip over a Sim ass on the way to the bed. Are you staying away from everyone, Colino? Thank God. It is blowing my mind that Colino is the one that is suffering from repeated bladder failures because he's incredibly sick and yet everyone else around him is dying. Contagious. Colino has become dangerously contagious. Okay, I've moved us up to 75 Sims. I'm gonna let them at least get in the house, then we'll kick it up to 100. Colino is now passing by four more people. Colino, don't do it. Don't give poor spleens the plague. That's funny, he walked away. He's like, all right, I won't. Colino, are you seriously going out to the hot tub? Oh no, he's not. He's just going over to the second most populated area where everyone's having a goddamn hot dog cookout. After he went over to that grill out over there, he did get inside of the hot tub. It's like he's trying to kill everyone. Look at this. He's like, you figured my plot out. Colino, don't you dare sit next to Florida, man, you son of a bitch. All right, Colino just urinated himself the seventh time. Well, there's a random dead body down here in the bathroom. That's bad. Because now Colino is going to shed his tears of contagiousness all over his fellow men. Actually, he's not crying at all. I think he's just used to this. Look at how energetic Colino is. He's at the end of his lifespan over here. He's like, good morning, everyone. Y'all ready to die? And someone just died. Colino! The disease has finally taken him, but not before he got a bunch of people sick. Okay, there are quite a few people now that have managed to contract the disease. Colino does not look too happy about this. Oh, this is fantastic. Apparently, Colino and Bab Ross have decided to put on a concert. Colino couldn't see the strings that well, so he decided to smile. Colino! Colino's dying from starvation! No! <laughs> How could this happen? This other lady is dying of cardiac explosion. Okay, LSD is now officially married to everyone on the entire lot. Also, for some reason, she has much better chemistry with Colino than she does with Florida Man. This is amazing. The very first person to strike up a conversation with LSD is Colino. In case anyone forgot, Colino, while being a glutton, is also a hopeless romantic, so this does make sense. Okay, never mind. I thought Colino was going to do a good job, but he He's actually scaring the shit out of LSD. Colino acquired the charisma skill. Yeah, by a 
effectively scaring away his wife. Okay, after the sporty folks got pissed off at her, LSD is now working with a nice businessman. Colino just inserted himself right in here. Look at him. He's like, hey, do you remember me? It's Colino. I don't mind if you talk to other men. Legit, Colino just freaking shoot this guy away. Okay, now we've got a sim that's going big. He's going in for LSD shirtless. And he just pissed everyone off by doing it. That was too much for Colino. All right, Colino's back in the game over here. Listen to that deep voice that Colino possesses. This is why he's so charismatic. Look at that smile that reaches from ear to ear. Look at how every once in a while he appears completely insane. Okay, this is a problem. Stock market guy just rolled in here and his voice is even deeper than Colino's. Wow, even Colino is starting to work out. I feel like Colino would be like, great, what the hell are you doing? Well, I got all the Sims uh, started in their brand new wonderland of ecology. And Colino is already trying to get himself killed by sitting right next to the fire. All right, Colino, let's get some food started inside of these gardens. Poorly decorated. He doesn't like the aesthetics. Oh, you need more decorations, do you? I like that Colino is getting his fitness skill up by swimming in the F. F for fitness. So, um, Colino came over here and started doing some gardening. Uh, and Florida Man already set something on fire. Are you going to take care of this? Colino is now on fire. I want to let you know, you all suck at this. Colino is over here, showering with absolutely no human decency at all. Wow. We started a legitimate dumpster fire. The first night is underway. Many people have already almost died. I'm not really sure what just happened because Colino teleported away from his hot dog grilling over to start planting these plants. Which brings me to a very pressing question I have. Colino, where did you get the meat for that hot dog? The grumpiness of this bee box is enraged. Kind of curious what that means. Hey, Colino. Glad you managed to set something on fire for the 30th time. Good for you, buddy. Man, thank God for us. Australian man coming in and saving the day. Listen, Colino, I I'm not sure I would wash myself off in, in the pool, my dude. A bunch of people have died in there. I'm not, I'm not sure how this happened, but Colino died and now his ghost is drowning in the water. What the hell is happening in this game? Just so y'all know, uh, Colino is a vegetarian. The reason why is because if anyone has ever had a colonoscopy and has fire hosed stuff out of their rectum for 24 hours straight, uh, it makes you want to just never eat again. <laughs> Colino, who was the last person to make a social media account, has finally done it. Do you just not care, Colino? He's like, I'm covered in my own filth. Of course I don't care. Y'all better get to the bathroom because if you don't, you're gonna end up like urinating all over yourselves in your own videos. <laughs> and Colino pisses all over himself on video. On the plus side, this is gonna make a fantastic TikTok. Colino is a man who never loses his arrogant swagger no matter what happens. Look at him, he's like, that's what I was thinking too. Whoa, Colino puts up one video and gets 65 followers? What the hell? You charismatic bastard. He's like, you know how I got all this charisma? By trading in one third of my head length. Colino puts up like two updates, he's at 95. Colino was gonna show off some dance maneuvers so he could make a TikTok video out of it. It didn't quite work. He may have broken his wrist. You know your video is bad when you actually give yourself a thumbs down. All right, Colino has decided to upload his daily video today to social media. His day mostly consisted of sleeping on the floor and trying not to die. Colino has gained 125 followers. Wow. You better cry yourself to sleep. You got a long ass way to go. Clean up that urine puddle while you're at it too. Okay, there's two people left. Colino and Florida Man. All right, Florida Man continues to get royalties, as does Colino for their various videos. Okay, both of these sims are working extremely hard to try and get their social media following up, so I've given them beds in the middle of this dance floor. So real quick, Florida Man just died, and Colino is uploading a viral video. <laughs> He's like, that's what I'm talking about, and he gets 85 followers from it giving him 210, which means that Colono now managed to get the most amount of followers of any of the Sims. Tired, broken, dirty, and crazy. Colono finally knows what it's like to be a TikTok social media superstar. <laughs> the Sims lasted exactly one week. That's how long any of them could stand this. Look at what has happened to the house during their social media escapades. They have literally foregone every single other piece of their lifestyle to be famous. Immediately right after Florida Man died, Tonsils took his bed. He's like, well, you won't be needing this anymore. Anyway, 
I guess I'll go ahead and leave you with this. Hope you enjoyed this episode of The Sims 4. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.